Android 4.3's new features are shown off on video. HTC seems to be considering a phallic version of the HTC One, and Google comments on the YouTube application for Windows phones now switched to positive. I'm Jaime Rivera, and after 300,000 subscribers, thank you all very much, and thank God it's Friday. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some Samsung news. Those of you interested in different color variations for the Galaxy S4, the new Aurora Red variant, um, yeah, I know, is now available for pre-order exclusively on AT&T. There's nothing here to see, folks. It's pretty much the same phone with a different color and kind of an ugly color if you ask me, but leave us a comment. Do you actually like it? Are you getting it? And let's continue talking about Samsung. Their Tizen platform has been rumored and leaked all over, and now we've got some more leaked photos of the future Redwood codename smartphone coming with the new operating system. Links down below for a full gallery of everything you can see from the smartphone. I mean, it looks a lot like a Galaxy S3 actually, but obviously running the new Tizen platform. Just begs to wonder when we're actually getting a smartphone release, but everything seems to be kind of close. We'll keep you posted. Now let's move over to Microsoft and Google. We know that both companies love each other. And well, Google has just commented publicly that they're working together with Microsoft on all the issues and the API problems that are happening with the YouTube application on Windows Phone. We know that Microsoft has to build it, but even though none of us want to see ads on our videos, you know, it is kind of interesting to finally see Google and Microsoft collaborating together for an application. This could mean a much better YouTube application, even though it's quite good on Windows Phone. I mean, Microsoft did a really good job. But, you know, think about other services that don't work from Google on Windows Phone could probably come in the future. And speaking of Google, we've got some leaked photographs of the Nexus 4 running Android 4.3, and everything points it out to be Jelly Bean. Everything looks like Jelly Bean as well. It's hard to notice any differences. Links down below for a full gallery, and we've also got a video showing everything off, and you'll notice that the only difference is actually in the camera application. You tap to focus, and you get a new menu of different options while you tap on the screen, but that's pretty much it. We'll see what the changes are soon, hopefully. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we've got two things from HTC. In the first place, we've got more rumors of a Google edition of the HTC One. Apparently, according to the very reliable sources, just a couple of weeks for that to happen, HTC is very interested in the project. And aside from that, we've also got HTC considering a phablet version of the HTC One, though it's really hard to know right now if this device will be, you know, six inches, 5.5 inches. It's kind of hard to get any specs or any specifics, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like a phablet version of the HTC One? Is that something that you're interested on? And would you hold off on the current HTC One for a phablet variant? In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, it's going to be kind of hard. I mean, the HTC One on its own is beautiful. I would love a phablet version of the HTC One just because I do love the Galaxy Note 2 that I have and not necessarily for the S Pen functionality. I would love to see a phablet version of the One, but not necessarily. Leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer, a bigger phone or the current phone as we currently have it? I would love it if it would be better, but if nothing's really improved, then it's kind of hard to pick. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.